Hey guys, I'm coming in to do my IF week two update. Um, and so far, like I said, it's just been going great. Nothing much has pretty much changed. I still do after workouts. I have a longer eating window and then on my non-workout days, I have a shorter eating window. And typically it's like a snack and then I have a meal. My shorter days and then on my longer days, I usually have like three meals maybe a snack at first because right after working out I've noticed if I try to eat a big meal it makes me super tired so I eat like some almonds or a fruit or I make a smoothie that's been the best thing is just making a fruit smoothie helps me so much um and that's pretty much all I've been doing for that uh that weight thing on my last video I said it was like 135 it's because my mom's scale wasn't zeroed out so when I got on it made me five pounds less and it freaked me out because I didn't even want that so I am 140 and I'm okay with that. I'm, just, I'm good. Um, I have lost an inch more, I think, off my tummy. I don't remember my last measurements were on my video, but now I have a 32-inch tummy. The, like, the pooch part, the tummy part. And then my waist is 26. So, I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's good. It's good, good, good progress. Um, what I've been doing, challenge, my challenge for last week was to, for week two, was to not eat any chocolate-covered fruit at work. And I did not. And yesterday, I went out with my family, went to the Cheesecake Factory. I got a semi, what I thought was semi-healthy type of meal. You know, no pasta, no breads, nothing fried, um, chicken, and it was like a Thai dish. You know, most Thai foods are really not that heavy in the fats and stuff. And then I got, I did get a slice of cheesecake. Like, I had myself a slice of cheesecake, and I did not feel bad about it. Because Saturdays are the days that I allow myself to pretty much eat whatever I want. But I don't go overboard. Like, I only ate half of my plate because I knew I was going to have cheesecake. And throughout the day, I didn't eat high amounts of food because I knew I was going out to dinner. You know, so I, I did a checks and balance type of thing. Because it's really, in the end, it's about the calories. And you're supposed to be burning more calories than you consume. So if you just try and check, keep a checks and balance throughout the day, it's okay. But I did have my cheesecake and I ate it slowly. I didn't even, like, scarf it all down because I don't even know what I'm going to do with the pieces that's left. I'm not going to eat it. I don't want to eat it like I have no craving for it and I ate it slowly and I just enjoyed my cheesecake like I didn't a lot of times we just eat sweets really fast that's why we keep craving them more and more because we don't actually get the time to enjoy them and I sat down and enjoyed my cheesecake and I didn't even eat it all and I mean I ate a good portion of it but I didn't eat it all there's still a hunk left that I'm not I don't want to eat like I just don't want to eat it I feel bad because I'm probably just gonna throw it away or if I can give it away that'd be great but because I noticed that because I took the time to enjoy the sweet, I didn't need to eat as much of it or all of it. I ate enough to the point that I felt satisfied craving-wise that I didn't need to eat anymore. Not craving any sweets lately, not today or anything like that, and I feel fine. You know, so I think that's that shows how much willpower I'm, and how much it, it's mostly the mind that affects our cravings and things like that. So, yay for that. Um... I told you I lost the inch. Oh, my workout plan. My workout challenge. I have a workout challenge for the next two weeks that I want to do. At least for the week. I'll see what the week three brings from this. But I know that, I know that pretty much when you're working out on the IF system, whatever muscle group gets worked out the most, that's where the energy is going to go to the most. And that's where the muscle building is going to go to. And the growth hormones that get produced. And, you know, that's where it's going to go to. And I notice I work out most other parts of my body where my big problem area is my stomach. So I'm like, okay, how about my workout days? I just make it, I'm just doing abs and nothing else. That way, all the growth hormones and the fatty acids that get released and all that are going to my abductors, abductors, my ab muscles, <laughs> and my obliques and all that. And that way, that's what's getting built and getting toned and defined. And then the fat that's around it, obviously, is, it's going to get burned away and shrink. You know, so that my ab muscles will be revealed. So that is my goal for week three is on my workout days, I'm only doing abs. And for abs, I'm doing ab ripper X for two times of the week. And then the core 20 for my turbo fire for the other one or two times. And then on Sundays, like today, I do my full body workout. And my full body workout is actually pages from the shape, recent shape issue. Um bikini body whatever but yeah I'm doing the workouts from this shape magazine it's full body and I, I do like it 
I was trying to do like the 17 challenge workouts, but they were so easy. Like I didn't feel challenged enough. So this is just like, this is what I'm doing. So you kind of get a little glimpse. This is pretty much what I'm doing. And you do the cycle twice. And you do like almost 10 reps for each move. 10 to 20 reps on each move. But it's very intense and it's short. That's why like it's short and intense. That's the whole point of working out with IF is that your exercise can be short, but it has to be intense for it to be successful. So that way you don't lose muscle mass. Instead of doing cardio, which is all about fat burning, you need to be doing stuff to build muscle. And yeah, it does just that. So it's a good full body workout. And I'm only going to do that once a week. And then I'm doing my abs. I work out three times a week. So three times a week I'm doing my abs. And I'm doing ab for X on P90X. And that stuff is intense. Like, that's the most intense ab workout I've ever had. It still hurts. <laughs> and I did it, like, two days ago. So that's pretty much my workout plan. So my week three challenge to just work on abs all week and see what results I get from that. Because pretty much with IF, I've noticed, like, workout results and strength results are quick. Like, uh, they're called chaturangas. It's like a where you take your arms really close in. And then you push up, so you pretty much work like a tricep push up, pretty much. Like I'm so much better at it now. Like, and it was just a quick change. After what I've only been doing this for two weeks, and my tricep push ups are banging, and like I'm noticing a difference. Like it's got nice tonage back there now. So I'm on the right track. It's only been two weeks of my little five week plan. Um, I'm excited to see what week three brings from my ab challenge to myself. And if I feel like I need to do a week four of an ab challenge to keep going, yay. And this week I'm also doing a complete 24-hour fast. I'm really, really scared. But it's from Saturday to the Sunday. So it shouldn't be that bad because Saturday, you know, I eat all day and do what I want. And then I do a 24-hour fast to kind of like make up for that. So, you know, it's good. But pretty much, like I said, eating-wise, I try and alternate between high-carb, low-carb. I just eat... Honestly, I don't sit there and be like, oh, I can't eat this because it's not a carb. I just eat. It's so simple. The lifestyle is so easy. And I really, like I said, I recommend trying it for a week. Your cravings will reduce dramatically. Your hunger pangs for like the first couple days will be intense. But after a while, it just starts to quiet down and it's nothing. And you can just you can survive it. Like I still haven't eaten yet. And I have been fasting for let's see, 9 is 12. And now it's like that's what, 3 o'clock. 10, 9, 12, 1, 2, 3, 6, plus 12, 18. So about to be 18 hours. I'm about to break my fast by having my smoothie since it's been like an hour since I worked out. That's the other thing. After working out, I try and wait like an hour to let my body use up any fats that are still floating around to give myself energy. And that usually works pretty well for me. But if I start to get lightheaded or I feel like I really need to eat something right after working out, then I will do it because you don't want to stress your body too much. You just want to stress it enough. That's the point. So... If you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them below. And I will see you all again next week. Bye.